So colchicine has been long used in the treatment of gout. It's an anti-inflammatory drug. It's been used for the treatment of gout and other inflammatory conditions, such as familial Mediterranean fever. And it is a very, it's been, because it's been used for so long, it's tried and tested and has an excellent side effect safety profile in terms of its anti-inflammatory action. The other thing we know is that uh, colchicine is rapidly works, works very quickly within a few hours of the actual insult to lower inflammatory symptoms. And so we thought to then bring this over to the PCI world. We know that PCI causes vascular inflammation, causes myocardial injury. We also know that improving inflammation after an MI improves outcomes, but we have no currently available treatment options to rapidly reduce inflammation or vascular inflammation. And so colchicine is inexpensive, yet a very potent anti-inflammatory agent, and again, with a very excellent side effect safety profile. And our group has shown before that colchicine can reduce the attachment of inflammatory cells to ruptured or inflamed endothelium, as well as platelets, both of which are very active in both the acute coronary syndrome patients as well as in the PCI population. Sure, this, we received funding from the uh, VA and the American Heart Association to conduct this uh, single center, randomized, double blind, uh, investigator initiated study. And we randomized patients to 1.8 milligrams of colchicine orally versus matching placebo one or two hours pre-procedure uh, in 400 patients who underwent PCI. The primary endpoint was a PCI-related myocardial injury, and, 30, and the, one of the key secondary endpoints was 30-day major adverse cardiovascular events. We had a nested biomarker substudy where we evaluated the primary endpoint of interleukin-6 and the change of interleukin-6 from baseline to post-PCI in both groups, and key secondary endpoints there were IL-1 beta as well as uh, HSCRP. So our results showed that a single shot of oral pre-procedural colchicine did not reduce PCI-related myocardial injury or 30-day MACE, but it did reduce vas blood markers of vascular inflammation post-procedure. And so in actuality, it's the first study to show that colchicine can prevent a rise in inflammation during any acute uh, clinical injury. So Colcott randomized patients within 30 days of an MI to daily use of low-dose colchicine for long-term. Ours was a pre-procedural one-time shot, you know, before the actual insult. And colchicine, uh, Colcott demonstrated improvement in outcomes with the daily use. So really more work is needed to figure out the optimal dosing and timing regimen of pre-procedural colchicine in this PCI population. In our study, we showed that colchicine attenuated markers of inflammation but they attenuated it to almost 24 hours post-PCI. And so an earlier start to this pre-procedural colchicine regimen does warrant further investigation. Definitely we do need more work in this area. Again, trying to figure out when is the right time to give it, what is the right dose. Our patient population was very complex. We had uh, more than half of our patients had diabetes, more than half uh, presented with acute coronary syndrome. Perhaps we need a more potent dose of anti-inflammatory agent prior to the procedure, um, and or should we be giving it much sooner? Should we be giving it about 12 hours before we, we go into the cath lab? So a lot of more work is needed in that area as well. Clear Synergy is run by Dr. Sanjeet Jolly over at McMasters, and he is randomizing patients with ST segment elevation MI uh, within, 24, within 48 hours of uh, primary PCI to either colchicine or matching placebo. And I have NIH funding to conduct a biomarker substudy of this, this large group, and I think that's also going to give us a lot more information. The primary aims of my biomarker substudy is not only to try to better understand the very complex role of inflammation, because it's very unclear right now as to why some drugs work and some drugs don't. Um, but also to understand which patients may benefit from anti-inflammatory treatment versus which patients will not uh, benefit from anti-inflammatory treatment. We really want to further advance the field of personalized medicine, and hopefully the biomarker substudy of Clear Synergy will provide some insight there.